Good morning. Here is today's word of blessings for you. 1 Kings 21 1-3. Sometime later there was an incident involving a vineyard belonging to Naboth the Jezreelite. The vineyard was in Jezreel, close to the palace of Ahab king of Samaria. Ahab said to Naboth, Let me have your vineyard to use for a vegetable garden since it is close to my palace. In exchange I will give you a better vineyard or, if you prefer, I will pay you whatever it is worth. But Naboth replied, The Lord forbid that I should give you the inheritance of my ancestors. Today's title is Keep Your Vineyard. The righteous shall live by faith. This is the motto of all believers. It is a blessing to live by faith. We receive countless blessings that the world cannot give us when we live by faith. But living by faith in the sinful and corrupt world has many challenges and hurdles to overcome. Whoever has genuine faith can hardly escape from it. We might be heading toward such time or we are already in it. How do you keep your faith against seductions and persecutions from the world? Naboth was an ordinary man of faith living at the time of the evil king Ahab. Elijah and Naboth lived at the same time under the same spiritual environment. But they had very different lifestyles. Elijah was outgoing and outspoken and had a grander scale of ministry. On the other hand, Naboth was more reserved and stayed at the small boundary of life. But to God, none is better than the other. Both were precious to God. Elijah is an inspiration for many believers. But I believe God used Naboth as an inspiration to Elijah. When Elijah complained that there was no one else who believed in God except himself, God said that he had still 7,000 hidden men. Naboth must have been one of the 7,000. Elijah fought hard but fell in great depression when things weren't going as he thought. Naboth went through even greater persecution. He eventually was martyred. But Naboth took it without much complaint. God shows Naboth's life as an encouragement to Elijah. Faith indeed has many different faces. We always have to bear that in mind and consider other believers better than us as Lord Jesus told. We love and respect Elijah. But most of us are more like Naboth. Are you disappointed with it? Certainly, God is not. You are an apple of God's eyes as Elijah was. Your faith shines where you are. But what if you are seduced and persecuted for the small vineyard that God has given to you? Are you willing to resist seduction and persecution? Are you willing to lay down your life for it? That's the greatness of quiet and ordinary man Naboth. Are we like Naboth in that regard too?